Okay, there's a guy up there. He's down there with power armor. Ring a ding ding. Back there. Run, 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 run. Inside. I haven't been in here. Cool. Yeah, he's in power armor, see that? He doesn't know where I am. There he is. that move. <laughs> it's a pretty vicious cycle out here. Ah. I think the main problem was I just wasn't prepared for it to happen. I wasn't, I, I wasn't, didn't want it to go down that way. That's the thing. We're just going to have to move on. Come on, dog meat. Do not even give them the time of day. Boston is a very vicious place. There are lots of uh, raider and super mutant encampments. So, and there are also uh, patches of uh, that might be Diamond City security fighting off super mutants. No, dogmeat, we're not going to go that way. I know what's over there. Yeah, super mutants are encamped up over here on the right side. Yeah. Let's see, we got these dogs here. Right. Gotta keep moving here. See? I wasn't prepared. Who are you? Oh, you're one of the vendors. One of the caravans. Okay, I think that's all of them. The music died down, so... I would hope that would be a s enough of a symbol to s signal to say, Combat's over! Man, these guys can get pretty scary. Woo! Alright, steamer chunk. They usually have some good stuff. Anytime you see a green steamer, or even a red steamer trunk, that is good. 
Because that is your reward for completely clearing out a little location. Of. Yeah, I had completely forgot. It had been so long since I've been through here. In terms of, uh how things were before I cleared up, cleared things up here. So, well, hello, Caravan Guard. So, all the little mines that are gonna go off are probably what's gonna kill me. It was a, nope, no cap stash. Couple things respawn in here, like, there's cram. Uh, plastic spoon, don't care too much. Where are you, lady? Oh, she's probably over here. Yes, we're finally gonna hit up Diamond City. First, let's talk to uh, Cricket okay. here. So many guns and so little time. You just gotta buy them. What's for sale? I've got a few minutes to browse. And there they are. Did your hearts get a beat too? Yep. Uh, I think she had her good weapon is the spray and pay. <laughs> I have not tried it out, but it just the concept of it seems pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? I'm going to sell off some of these things really quick. Because I don't want to stay too much on this page here. Yeah. Mm, I'm sell off the Long Johns. And the two greater pieces here. Yep, yeah, okay, that'll do it. For now. Alright. This right here, this is Diamond City right here. <laughs> See how they're all dressed up? Like um umpires. Open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. And that's where we step in. Dog meat. Why? You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Who are you, though? What? Who are you? What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <laughs> Welcome to Diamond City! Huh, you first. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut! You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped that for parts. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. <laughs> what newspaper? <laughs> what newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Um, 
I said not not my business, so I'll see what support the news hates. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Huh, <sighs> you two arguing? <laughs> what are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I am looking for... I'm trying person. to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son. <laughs> and... <laughs> my son. And the one true king. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait. Your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. <laughs> uh, who can help? Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay. I am not Paris liking city. how sometimes the subtitles are going. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Story of the century. I'm gonna go do that. Really quick. That's the main reason I wanted to come here. Hello, sir. You're Sullivan, right? So... You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. It happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. No, uh, missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My son, and the one true king. Boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The Institute? The Institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. Never mind, then. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Maybe. Welcome to Diamond City. Uh, Diamond City is non demon <laughs> Den All Faith Chapel Officer Services and Counseling of all of Diamond City's residents, regardless of religion. Non denominational. This is Diamond City. There's first. Seconds over. Uh, actually, first is over there. Seconds over there. There's third, and this is home. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, 
the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps